Sup my dudes, Val Karen. Today, I'm going over the Revengers team Big Brother. Basically, I made a video on Revengers a couple days ago, and I was like, this team's really good. Uh, how can I make it better? So, I came up with this. I came up with this kind of thing. I think, I think Alucard's probably the best bloodthirsty unit that I can get on the team. Outside of that, I could, should probably go Kujaku Demon, just for the increase of damage, but I think more Bloodthirsty would be funny. Uh, let's just... No, nah, let's go Kujaku. Uh, this is probably going to be the better setup. Uh, blood, more Bloodthirsty would be very funny. But yeah, we're just going to take a second to ramp up. Uh, full Hollow each go anyways. So I do want to see exactly how much damage output this team can do. So that's what we're going to find out today. Because I have not tested this team at all. And I thought it would be funny to record a video while I test this team for the very first time. Because in theory... This is strong. This is very strong. This is a stronger version of the Revenger setup that I showed you guys because you have um, just basically a giga ramping character in Full Hollow Ichigo that's then going to hit Bloodthirsty 2 or get hit by the Anemia buff, so he's going to be hitting for 375. And yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, you guys like the, uh, the Makima blessing? Anyways, um, let's go ahead. Let's put these guys down and... Let's go from there. Oh, he's got a whole, like, cinematic for it. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so we can only put three down in total. That's good. We're going to find out... This is my first time actively using him. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, when does his raise attack go away, actually? It goes away at the set, all right? Let me see. Um... No, he keeps it. Okay, so one upgrade after the Seto is when his Rage Attack goes away. Got it. So now I do Seto. Do not do that upgrade. So Seto. And then here's Seto. Alright. So next we're going to do this. We're going to do Flower Magician. And we're going to come here. We're going to do this. And we're just going to start spawning them in. Let's go ahead and go to times 5 speed so we can try to speed this whole process up. Because we need to spawn in a lot of enemies. Because I've heard everybody complain about how long it takes for this Ichigo to actually ramp up. So yeah, we're definitely going to be spawning in just a ton of enemies. Just clicking like crazy until basically... I know you guys can hear the clicks. Uh, just kill, clicking like crazy until he's reached his max. Until he's done attack scaling. And then we're going to go from there and keep building up on the team. And see how crazy we can make this essentially. So, I'm thinking that this is going to be really strong. Personally. I personally think this is going to be a kind of insane team. Um, it's just a matter of how it all plays out whenever everything comes down to it. And the fact that we're able to run Flower Magician, whereas in the other team you weren't really able to do it. You didn't have the space. Uh, that's kind of a plus. And that's because, basically, Blood Queen is our applicator as well as our buffer. So you're able to see some crazy, crazy results. Alright, so they're done. So let's go ahead, finish maxing them out. Uh, go ahead, finish you up. And now they're full AoE. Oh, this is going to be something. Alright, so next up, we're going to go ahead and do idle. And put idle down, max out idle. Idle buff on, okie doke. Next up, we're going to do probably the most important character to the whole strategy. Our strategy is Metallica. We'll put down all four Metallicas. Go ahead, upgrade Metallica all the way. Another little upgrade for Metallica. And then Und Moss upgrade for Metallica. Okie doke. And now we're going to put down Blood Queen. One, two, and three. Do this. Fully max her out. Fully max her out again. Uh, 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 okay. And then we're going to fully max her out one more time. You guys saw that? Wasn't that like a 2 mil attack stat? Jesus. And then 1.15 mil for you. Yep. So that's about right. Next up, we're going to do Kujaku Demon. Because believe it or not, Kujaku Demon is actually on the category. Yeah, Kujaku Demon on Bloody Hunt is actually pretty surprising to me as well. Um, I was, I was a little shocked to see that. I'm not going to lie. But let's go ahead. Let's do this. Okay, this, and then one more. All right, cool. And now we're going to do the last thing for the funnies is we're going to go ahead here. One, two. And then we're going to go ahead and here. One, two. Okay, so now the entire team's been set down. 
So what is a good objective first? Let's, just, let's try 500 million. Let's see 500 million at first and just see the amount of damage that they can really start to pump out and see what this team can realistically expect. Um, anemia plus despair is doing really good plus the stuns like I thought. You guys can see the despair slow kicking in as well as the stuns from Flower Magician makes it so 500 million gets basically nowhere. So now let's try a billion. Uh, 1 billion, I imagine, is going to get up to about here-ish, is where if I had to guess, I would be guessing at. I'm going to guess, like, right here. I'm going to stand here. I'm so confident. In it. Um, yeah, this, this, this team shreds. It shreds the exact same as the Revenger setup, because it's basically the exact same. It just has a much harder-hitting character in Full Hollow Ichigo. Full Hollow Ichigo is very, very hard-hitting. Very, very strong. I think I'm just barely off. Yeah, I'm just barely off of where it was. So, one bill got here whenever they start attacking here. So, two bill is going to be over there. So, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, then, this team is genuinely like one strong unit away from just being insane. Um, I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. This is like one good unit away from just being absolutely nuts. I think you replace Kujaku with somebody else that's just insanely high damage. Uh, but the spare is pretty strong. Or you could replace Flower Magician with somebody else. I could potentially uh, replace Flower Magician with Alucard. Because I don't think I need this level of AoE. But yeah, something like that could make this team absolutely absurd. They already are outdoing or outperforming the Revengers setup, I want to say. Almost. Let's see. Not not out of woods yet. Close, though. Alright. So, it's virtually the exact same damage as Revengers setup, minus one damage, because we have Flower Magician instead of, like, Alucard. That makes me want to go test. Let me um, go back real quick. Let me go grab Alucard, shove him into this team. And just kind of see exactly how well it goes, right? Um, just kind of see exactly how good it is. It could be, like, insane, right? I think Alucard is probably, like, the best option right now. Um, I think this team could potentially end up just being absolutely cracked out of its mind. Let me grab Chaser Dracula really quickly. And then go from there. So, let me go here. Uh, Chaser Dracula... Now we swap him in, and let's go test this one more time now. Yeah, let's go ahead and test this out. Um, everybody's going to be asking me, how do you get the Makima cosmetic? I uh, just want to let you guys know. Is there any non-taking rooms? I just want to let you guys know. Um, you got to buy it with Robux, yeah. You got to buy it all with Robux. Uh, it could. <laughs> it's really, really funny. It's a super funny cosmetic, but yeah. Alright, so we're going to do the same process as before. We're going to put down the Ichigos. We're going to level them or let them raise attack up. They really didn't take long to raise up at all. Um, yeah, they only took like a second to raise up. So this really won't be too bad. So then we go here. Saro. Oops, one upgrade too far. Alright, so here. And then Saro. Alright. Seto. And then here. Seto. Okay. Cool. Now we're just going to spawn a ton of stuff in. Let them build their raised attack off of it. Oh yeah, we're not on uh, times 5. I'm like, why are they not hitting them yet? They yeah, went on times 5. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I don't want that. I want to try to keep it neutral so it's easier to like spot out exactly how much damage the team's doing. Um, all in all, that was about the same as Revengers, minus one damage. I think uh, Alucard being here is going to make a very, very big difference at the end of the day. I think it's a really, really strong damage setup, so I'm really curious to see exactly how much this does with Alucard here now. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty damn good, to be honest with you. So, we're going to do this. We're going to put our idol closer towards the center because we don't have Flower Magician. I do believe Ichigo's... AoE will be close enough. What a, well, whatever Ichigo's AoE is, I don't feel like sitting here clicking for like 20 minutes. So we're going to just run with it the way he is. If they get out of the range a little bit, then okay. We know our testing's a little bit fraudulent.
But yeah, let's go ahead and let's see. Um, just perfect. Got it. Damn, I'm good. Don't you love it whenever you're good at something? Anyways, let's go ahead and put you down. We're not doing that backwards. It's It's got to be right. There it goes. All right. So next we're doing this. This will buff up everybody. So now we're going to go ahead and start putting everybody else down. Um, Let's do this with the Blood Queens. I want to get a good gist of her range and see if I need to make any adjustments. Yeah, okay. So we got to move her up some because her range is not the best. Uh, we're going to go ahead and probably actually move her around some. Let's see where all we can put her. We can put one here because it's very important that she spread around to apply bleed uh, much more consistently. So we are going to try placing them around the map. That way she's able to apply bleed a lot more and still make sure she's keeping the other units inside of her AoE. Next up is Alucard. What is your full AoE? Because I remember you are full AoE. Alright, so your full AoE is like that. So we're going to kind of stack you right here and this ought to be good correct correct okay good 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 all right so we're really trying to optimize our range here all right cool blood queens at max you're at max next up is a really important unit uh metallica metallica is super super important to actually keep have or actually keep down uh, because he's going to apply anemia and bloodthirsty too, and just really, really important unit to have basically for this whole setup. So then we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this. And the last up is Kujaku Demon. Of course, we're going to do this. We're going to do this, and then we're going to do this. All right, cool. I believe everybody down or is now down at max. So let's see. Um, this would be a good little test to see exactly how, like, good, uh, Flower Magician is anyways. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, Bill. Let's see how much they can do to 2, Bill. So, already, going off, starting strong. Uh, I'm curious to see how much damage they do all in all, because I don't know if they'll kill it. Uh, but they should do a good portion of damage to it, so we'll, we'll find out. At the end of the day, the unit doing the most damage is absolutely him. Uh, his damage is going to be through the roof. He does have a 9 SPA, but there's a 3 placement, and he's 2 million attack stat. So he's, he's definitely in a pretty good spot. So, they're actually... Look how much less damage they're doing. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Add, Flower Magician's so much better because he takes these units with smaller range, and he's able to spread them out. You lost 500 million damage not using Flower Magician. Okay, so no. Flower Magician's a must... Uh, but that's the team right now. I think this team is actually pretty strong. I think it's just as strong as the Avengers team. Uh, they're using basically, they're both abusing Bloodthirsty 2. This thought would be a cool little team to make a video on. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.